Oh yes, folks, the WC here with another, another NBA Playoffs 2017 breakdown video. This time I'm going to be talking about the Atlanta Hawks versus the Washington Wizards. Now, if you follow my channel, you know I'm a Washington Wizards fan. I'm going to try to be unbiased in this video as much as possible. Okay. So let me start off with talking about the Hawks first before I talk about the Wizards, just to prove to y'all that I'm unbiased, okay? Um, Paul Millsap is basically the squad, man. I mean, this, this squad goes up or down without him. Um, they were able to maintain a playoff push without him um, with good scoring from, you know, Tim Hardaway Jr., um, Dennis Schroeder, and, you know, Dwight Howard doing his thing down low. They were able to, you know... Locked themselves into that fifth seed off the strength of those three guys. But Paul Millsap is just a guy that just takes Atlanta to another level. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't necessarily a believer a couple of years ago um, when they were like the number one seed. And I was saying that these guys are going to crumble. They're going to fall. This, this, and this. And they made it as far as, uh, you know, as far as the, the Cavaliers a couple of years ago. But they weren't able to get over that hump. But Paul Millsap is basically this team's. Um, MVP. I mean, without them, they just they look kind of pedestrian. But with them, they're a very, very formidable team. Very formidable. And then when you look at the Wizards, you know, the 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 Wizards are a very balanced team. Like when you see when I say Wizards to you, you think Wall, you think Bill, but Gortat can take over. You know, uh, Morris can take over. Otto Porter, when he's healthy, can take over. They've got a very, very balanced attack when it comes to offense. And they're one of the best defensive teams in the league, too, when they're on their P's and Q's. All right. The, the matchup that I want everybody to really, really pay attention to in this in this series is going to be Brad Beal versus Tim Hardaway Jr. Now, Tim Hardaway Jr. is a guy that's a very, very streaky scorer. And Brad Beal kind of mirrors him. And I, I, would, I would highly expect for these two to duel. I would expect for both of these guys to just kind of throw up shots, and they probably half of them will probably go in. All right, both of these guys are sharpshooters. Whichever guy is the hottest during this series, this team's going to win. All right, for the most part, because both of these teams just kind of marry each other. Yeah, I could say I could have said you know Howard versus Gortat, but that's a mismatch. I mean, Howard should eat all day against Gortat. Gortat should be in foul trouble. And as far as like the benches go. The benches are pretty much evenly matched. I mean, you got Bazemore. I think I don't know if they're going to insert him to the starting lineup for the playoffs. They probably shouldn't. But you got Cephalosha, another guy, uh, Ersan Ilyasova, who's a guy that could kill you from just about anywhere. And we've seen what those backup Hawks did to the Cavaliers a couple, couple days ago, a couple weeks ago. You know, the Hawks have a very, very deep team. And then we look at the Wizards. They made a move for Bondanovich. Bondanovich is a sharpshooter. He should have an effect in this series. Jan Mahimi is basically insurance if Gertak gets into foul trouble, which it looks like he will. So, you know, you can say that uh, Mahimi versus Howard is a good matchup or a key matchup. Um, the wild card is Kelly Oubre Jr. Because I don't know how healthy um, Otto Porter is going to be coming into the playoffs. He's a guy that I want people to kind of take a, a, a long, long look at. In this series, um, as far as who wins the series goes, you know, like I said, Paul Millsap is a problem, and I think that everybody understands that he's a problem, but he doesn't necessarily play really, really great with Dwight Howard, and they they kind of bump heads. I mean, I wouldn't say that you know that that is a problem that that Millsap is incapable of playing with Howard. I just think that it's going to be somewhat of a problematic thing in this series for them to kind of manage touches between the two because Dwight Howard, in order to be relevant, he needs a few four or five touches. And like I said, you know, John Wall is, you know, he, he's probably one of the most unstoppable players in the league. There's not too many people that can keep up with him. Dennis Struder would not be able to keep up with this guy. All right. So. It's going to be one of those things where, you know, I'd expect for, you know, Shooter to, you know, to a, to a certain extent get a shot off against Wall. And Wall's just going to be able to get past Shooter at will. So I'm looking at the Wizards to win this series in about seven games. I think that the, I think that 
Paul Millsap is is a big enough problem for the Wizards that he can force this game to go this series to go seven games. But like I said, Markeith Morris against Millsap, you know, the Washington Bigs against Millsap and Howard. Howard concerns me a little bit more. It's just that Millsap is probably going to be the one getting the touches. So it's just like, you know, this is one of the most closest series in in the, in the in the playoffs. Honestly, you can kind of flip a coin. It's the same thing with uh, the Jazz and the Clippers. It's just a very very close series, a very tight series. But I'm going to go with the Wizards to win this series in seven games. All right. Let me know how you feel down below. Was I being too much of a homer here? I don't think I was. The music is starting to cut me off, so I have to go. And until next time, folks, peace out. This is the NBA Playoffs here on YouTube.